Welcome back to the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Elite Four Round 2. Uh, yeah, I accidentally walked through the next room when I was uh, recording the wrong screen, so you'll see me here. Anyway, last time, we defeated Sydney of the Elite Four. Now this time, we have to go on and defeat uh, Phoebe, the next member, and uh, I still really like this room, but I wish that they got their transitions again. Those lanterns are very cool. Invisible walls! <laughs> anyway. Hmm, is there a ghost girl in here? Now, I know that a ghost girl appears here sometimes, but yeah. Speaking of ghost girls, we have to fight Phoebe. Now, who do I use? That's the thing. I mean, Tuba could crunch the ghosts and make up for their uh, performance in the last battle. So could Clarinet, and I mean, I used Eagle and Airhorn last time, so I want to use someone different this time. Just thinking, though, because chances are that she does have Chandelure. I, I'm not totally blind on their teams, because I actually did help someone get through this. Of course, they just swept with Mega Rayquaza, but they were desperate, so I kind of had, had to walk them through it. So I kind of have seen their teams at least once. I do know that Phoebe has a Chandelure. Um, and she'll probably have a bunch of other Ghost types as well. I mean, of course she will, but like maybe things like... I think she has a Drift Blim and a... Uh, I'm not sure if he uses any of the other Anova Ghost types, like uh, Kovagrigus or Golurk, but uh, anyway. Just wondering who I'm going to use here. I mean, Tuba is not that great against Ghosts, and I mean, Trumpeter isn't really either, but Clarinet could... Ah, uh, and I mean, Tuba's got the bad defences. It all really depends on who I want to use for the next fight, actually, and I mean, I need Tuba and Boneflute for, for, um, for... I was about to call him Drayden, for Drake, so... I'm going to go with Clarinet for this one. Uh, watch her go ahead and lead with a ghost type that's really good against Dark. Yeah, the second round Elite Four don't really say all that much before their battles. But anyway, it's time for Phoebe Round 2. Oh, she's just leading with Banette, okay. So, yes, Bennett, as you can probably tell, is obviously not her Mega, since she's leading with it, and um, generally they save their Mega for last. But their levels have gone up a little bit, but let's just see how much Crunch does to this thing. Om nom 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 nom, nice, delicious, possessed plush dolls. Well, it certainly did a lot. Yeah, Bennett doesn't really have the best defenses. That's why Mega Bennett can actually make somewhat good use of uh, Pranks to Destiny Bond. It's kind of the only thing it has going for it, but oh well. Oh, Miss Magius. Uh, yeah. I've always really liked this Magius. It's kind of one of my favorite, um... Well, I like a lot of Pokemon from Gen 4. It's kind of weird. Gen 4 has, um... I'll just see if I can sucker punch it. Miss Magius has terrible HP and defense, but really good special attack, special defense, and speed, so... It really hates sucker punch. A shame I couldn't really show off what it can do, but yeah, really hates sucker punch. Anyway, it's funny because Gen 4 has some of my favourite Pokémon of any generation, but my le it's my least favourite main story overall out of every single generation, so... As in, like, I dislike it even more than X and Y, uh, and that's really saying something. But it does have my favourite Pokémon out of any generation. Hmm... See, here's the problem, though. I could Flame Body off this thing accidentally, and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna dig to see what it's gonna do. Yeah, Chandelure hits very, very hard. Those of you who watch my Pokemon Black No Experience Room will know. Okay, well, I know it has Flamethrower and not Fire Blast or Overheat. That's at least something somewhat okay. Okay, good, no burn. I like how Flame... See, that, yeah, Chandelure hurts a lot. I really like how Flamethrower's animation has changed now. Flamethrower used to look kind of not so good in X and Y, but they improved its animation quite a lot. Kind of like the shift from Colosseum to XD, where they really improved a lot of the move animations. Okay, well, we're all going up to, like, level 71. Dust Noir's back, but this time, Dust Noir is not Phoebe's ace. So, that's interesting, although this thing probably does have a lot of elemental punches. The main reason why I didn't switch to Trumpeter there is because, uh... Yeah, um... Could have Ice Punch, and that could be bad. Dust Noir does have very good defenses, though, and it has pressure, so every time you attack it... That was a crit! Was that wasn't even a crit?! Wow, Clarinet is a monster! I mean, don't listen to anyone who says Mighty Anna isn't good. This is get getting ridiculous. Drift Blim. Okay. Drift Blim is a very interesting Pokémon. Ghost and Flying type. It's quite a weird one, but uh, it's got a lot of HP, so Crunch may not one-shot. 
Oh, it also has Aftermath, if I remember correctly. So, if I do take this thing out, wow! Clara okay, that was a crit. And Aftermath. No! Oh, Aftermath got you. Oh, I was hoping you could sweep your way through the whole team, but sadly it wasn't to be. At least the experience isn't wasted due to the experience share. Well, guess it's time for Trumpet to clean up the rest. I mean, Clarinet did do very well, though. I mean, that was actually pretty insane. Anyway, Sableye, you might be thinking? This tiny little thing is her ace? Well, don't be fooled. I'm gonna go for Dragon Pulse here. Yep, it's time for... I can't really think of a good catchphrase for this one. But it's summoned a gigantic gem and is hiding behind it. Mega Sableye has the magic... Oh, it's gonna fake me out, that's annoying. Mega Sableye trades in its Prankster ability for Magic Bounce, which, uh, yes, reflects status moves right back at you. Things like Stealth Rock, Will-O-Wisp, Thunder Wave. I've heard Mega Sableye is actually doing really well in Smog and Ogu at the moment, which kind of surprised me because it was, the, it was the one that... Oh, foul play. Yeah, the guy was helping, um, <laughs> when uh, this was used on his Mega Rayquaza. That kind of hurt a lot. Um, I may have to use Leech Storm here, actually. Can't really switch out, but anyway. Yeah, Mega Sableye has a lot of defenses. Still going for that foul play, yeah. Mega Sableye is definitely very, very tough. Might as well land the final blow with Tuba because she's the only one who isn't level 71. So let's. Let's. Let Phoebe heal. I completely forgot about that. And even though I am resistant to foul play, it's still going to hurt a lot considering that uh, Tuba has the combination of very good attacking stats and terrible defenses, which is exactly a foul play user's worst nightmare. I mean, a Pokemon that is facing a foul play user's worst nightmare. I mean, Aegis slash Blade Form really hates foul play, but yeah. I'm going to go for Skull because normally Will O'Wisp will be reflected, but Burn as a secondary effect from an attacking move is not going to be bounced back. Power Gem, that's interesting. Actually, Mega Sableye might be one of the few Pokémon that can use that kind of effectively, I just realised. Are you going to full restore again? Yes, you are! Kind of thought so. So, this is actually not going to be a total curb stomp. Interesting. See if I can get the burn again, though, because that would really help. Okay, no burn. But, yeah. Mega Sableye, I've heard, runs a pretty good car mindset. And again, I would still really like to see Power Gem given to an actual specially offensive rock type. That would actually be really cool. But anyway, Sableye goes down. And the gem still stays upright. Interesting. So Phoebe wasn't too bad. I mean, Clarinet was amazing back there, but... Um, you didn't even participate in that. Why are you suddenly higher level than everyone else? So Phoebe's rematch is down. That wasn't too bad, like I said, but yeah, having Clarinet really helped. If I didn't Sucker Punch that Miss Magius, it probably would have hurt me quite badly. So, yeah, time for the obligatory uh, post-match heal. Let's just go ahead and revive. And revive again. And heal. Heal again. Heal again. But next time, we'll be taking on the third Elite Four rematch, the Ice-type user Glacier. See you then.